What's up, people? It is your boy Kicks from the Homeless Crusade, your resident mix guy, B-Boy Kicks, just for kicks art, all that jazz. I'm here with my boy Ardil. Solo Ooh. missions today, two out for the podcast. Um, yeah, December's been a bit of a ride, but we made it. <laughs> We're both still working like full, yeah, <laughs> like right. literally like no no days off. But um, I should have actually taken leave this year, but I, like, I was thinking about it because Candice is at home, Violet's on school holidays, and the first week of the year, she's going to be with me for like the whole week. So I'm checking it. I actually should have taken leave, but I'm building up so much now that I could take like a month off. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure like, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sh- like, but doesn't it fall away though? I it's fall supposed away. to fall away if they, f- if they tell you that you've got to take it within a certain time period and you don't. Mm-hmm. Then it, where I work, it falls away. At other companies where other lucky people work, you get paid for your leave. So like if you don't take leave or if you accumulate like a month worth of leave, I think they pay you out like for a couple of days, yes. like a week. That's actually you get fire. paid like a week extra or something. For, the, nice. if, for those of you who do know how that whole leave situation works, please let us know. Um, yeah, it'd be dope to kind of get more insight in that. Insight I know that. most people, they have to, you, you get like forced to take your leave. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. They, they, like they literally tell you, okay, so you've accumulated like 40 days of leave, you need to take 10 days now. Mm-hmm. Like before, Otherwise it falls away. Before the end of March kind of yeah. thing, you need to take 10 days. So yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. But yeah. But yeah, um, it's, uh, bro, same as same like same thing I work throughout December, bro. Like it doesn't make a difference. Like bro, the days don't even I forget which day it is because it's like it all blends together, my bro. Like it's all Oh yeah, no, you know what I mean? <laughs> bro, <laughs> exactly what especially mean. in December, all these people just vibes, my bro, and I'm just uh, at work graphing. watching these. You get me? Yeah. So watching people stay this is the day at the beach. Yeah, bro. But, but we hope uh, you enjoyed yourself at the beach, guys. 100%. And also please be safe. The time of the year, the, the ocean can things can be a bit hectic. In general, even. In general things can be a bit hectic. Uh, but yeah. Owens are out here in the streets, boy. Oh yeah, yeah no, they are. You know it's funny, we went to um I told you most we went to Candice's cousin last night. Yes. Shout out Hello, my homie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um and I went to the shop. I didn't actually tell them that this happened, but like because I'm so street smart, I just it, it happened and I walked away. Because like it was something similar to what you told me about that mm-hmm, happened mm-hmm. at the taxi mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Were well, you so alone? I was alone, okay. right? solo. So I was walking to the shop, so we my girlfriend's cousin Hello stays. It's there's a shop literally around the corner from his house. He lives in a row that has like a bend in it, and then as soon as the bend ends, that's where his house is. So if you follow the bend and you walk back down the road, there's a little shop, like a convenience store. And I, we were having some drinks last night, and they are big whiskey. They they love whiskey. Mm-hmm. That family loves whiskey. Mm-hmm. So I drink whiskey now because of them, <laughs> but I don't drink it with water like they do. They just throw ice blocks and water and they're good to go. But I'm like, Crazy. give me some Sprite at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually brings up something funny because, um, you know my favorite drink is Mountain Dew. Mm. Did you know that Mountain Dew was actually created to be a whiskey mixer? Really? Yeah, that's the sole purpose of Mountain that's Dew. Crazy. <laughs> it's not actually a sports drink that, that people think it is actually a, a whiskey yeah, mixer, but well, back I, to the story. I, did you say sports drink? It's supposed to be I a sports drink. I can't take that serious. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> what do you it's mean? It's supposed to be a sports drink. That doesn't make sense. Man, Mountain Dew has sponsored so many athletes, bro. Like, legit. But I, yeah. 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 It even sponsored, like, there was a time when Mountain Dew was, like, the official drink of, like, gamers. But yeah. Yeah. That and like, but now it's like energy drinks and stuff. But yeah, they actually have an energy drink, like like energy type of oh, thing on really? the side. Yeah, they have like one on the side. But anyways, yeah. not the point. So I was walking to the shop, but I went alone because I was like, listen guys, you know, I don't drink whiskey with like water and like you hardcore people. I'm going to go get a bottle of Sprite. So they're like, yeah, cool, the shop's around the corner. They actually mm-hmm. offered to like go for me. I was like, guys, no, man, it's cool. you guys are chilling, spending time together. I'm going to go quickly. Yeah. So I walked around the corner and as I was walking around the corner, there's this open patch of like just very low bush felt, like knee high, mm-hmm. but there's a clear path through it mm. to take a shortcut to the shop. Okay. And me and being me and knowing how these things work, I'm like, nope, I'm gonna take the long way. Yeah. I'm not gonna walk through the uh, bush. In as a, in I'm a bush you know, they're, <laughs> they're literally lo- waiting there. So like, I take a walk around. Soon you get to the shop, there's like a parking lot piece and then the shop is over there, but the parking lot's quite big. Like it's just this open flat cement piece. And then there has a wall that curves around like the block basically. Mm. And there was a guy sitting, it's a very low wall, also like knee high wall, and this yeah. guy was sitting on the wall. And this guy, I, I'm, I'm watching him because I'm walking and I'm like, he's just sitting here, but I'm like, let me just see, I'm not from here, mm. I'm not from this part of town, yeah. so I'm not gonna. I think I said in a previous episode, like certain people stand out, they know already, they can see by the way that you look, yeah. you're not from. And, and they could clearly see, because I still have my braids and I don't have them in anymore, but I had my braids in last night. And I thought, okay, cool, I'm just gonna walk. So this guy gets up and I can see he's getting up to come to me. Mm. So I walk and he's like, yo, so I'm like, I don't even sp- I don't even use my voice. So I just mm. do that and I keep walking. But my aim is I'm gonna get to the shop. Yeah. So I go, and he's like, "Yo, wait, I wanna ask you something." 
And I'm like, of course you want to ask me something. Right. Of course you want to ask right. me something. You don't even know who I am. You've, this is the first time in your life you have <laughs> ever seen me. And he's speaking like perfect English. Like he's not like, he sounds like, mm-hmm. so I'm like, mm-hmm. uh-uh. So I just look at him. So I walk to the shop. Like if you're going to ask me something, meet me at the shop. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, I'm not going to ask you, ask me something here in the Stop middle of some, nowhere. Walk with yeah, come get me by the door. Yeah. So by the time I got to the door, I stopped and I turned to look where he was mm. and he was walking away. So I was like, yeah, what if you want to ask me was not that important yeah, if you thanks. clearly turned around and walked away. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, yeah, but like, it, like it made, made me think of the conversation we had the last time. I was like, right, if you don't know, like you need to just know how to operate in certain areas because if you don't, things will go horribly wrong 100%. for you. Anything could have happened. Like, I don't know what that guy had in his pockets or anything, but at the same time, because of me being in situations, not in situations, but like, as we said in the previous confr- episode with the confrontations, because it's happened not just to me, but around me so much. When I see that, I'm like, I know you don't want to talk to me, my guy. Like, you want to you wanna talk to me, mm. but you also want to know what I've got in my pockets. I'm not yeah. stupid. The time. Who do, you think, who do you think I am? I'm not going to talk to a random stranger. Thanks, my parents sense. told me better than that. Do not a stranger danger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm right. about to stuff into. So, yeah. It reminded me of that situation that you told me that happened with you, but yeah, yeah. you don't have to get into that. Yeah, that's but fine. Yeah. But um, I want to say something now. Oh, yeah. But I, I think also, like, I don't know. I saw a video, I think, about it or something. But, like, mm. people often say that men... Yeah. Uh, then we need, we always very like alert of like, what's going percent. on there, uh, like around us. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's fair, my bro, because just w- once you just slip up, you're just in a daze enjoying life, and then something can happen. Yeah. That's very why it's quickly. important to know your surroundings, scope the area, and whatnot. It sounds insane if you think about it, but it's actually facts, my bro. Yeah, especially in you know the places that we. Yeah, we're not frequent, operate. but but <laughs> where yeah. we've been, <laughs> where yeah. we where I grew up and stuff like that, because like I like I mentioned before. I grew up in one of the, like a very rough part of town, so like you had to learn to navigate mm-hmm. certain situations. Mm-hmm. Like I actually had this conversation with one of my friends before because um, I can't even remember how long ago it was, but it was a while back, and we were talking about like I can't even remember what we were talking about, but the topic of conversation ended up being like how you ha- how I have friends in different parts of the world. Like so, I've got friends who went to Model C schools. I've got friends who went to schools in what we call the locations uh, in the area where I grew up. Like I've got friends from all parts of the world. And I've got friends in different like circles. Like I got my gamer friends, I got my friends who like music, I got, okay, I'm not a big anime person, but I got my anime friends, like you, one of them. Um, I got my friends who like comics, I got my friends who like cars. But it's like, you just find a way to kind of like fit in. If you if it's not your crowd, you don't have to go back kind of thing. But like, I just enjoy people's company and I enjoy people's perspectives on things yeah. and I enjoy having conversations. So like, I tend to make friends in different places. Funny story, actually, you know, this one time, like, one of my best friends went to Alex. Mm. Shout out Robin, much love, homie. Can't wait to see you when you come down. But anyways, so he went to Alex. Now, him and I were very tight. We used to spend a lot of time together. So he's my granny's house, and his granny's house were in the same street. But at the time, when we became friends, he w- used to live in Cape Town. So we'd come down to PE for school holidays yeah. with his mother, because yeah. his mother was from PE. Makes sense. So eventually they moved to PE because his dad got a job here. Mm. And then he went to Alex for high school. Was this like when you were a kid, long ago? Yeah, when we were teenagers. Because mm-hmm. I'm a year older than him. So like we were teens, like I would be like f- 16, he'd be 15 kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And we went to an event at Alex. For those of you who are, I don't know if it still happens at Alex right now, but they used to have an event there called Beat. Okay. It was basically like a talent show, right? So all the kids at the school would just like, whoever could sing would come and sing, whoever mm-hmm. do- could dance would come and dance, or so blah, 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 whatever. If you yeah. wanted to do like a martial arts display, but uh, whatever was like <laughs> performing arts type thing, you would come and do it on that night. Like you would, Makes whatever, sense. right? Yeah. And he was like telling me, oh, bro, you need to come with me to this thing. Like it's so dope. Mm. And then he's like, but I think at the time, I don't know if the rules have changed, but at the time it was exclusive to only kids who went to the school. Okay. So Makes like sense. if you went to Alex, you could go. But mm. if you weren't at Alex, you weren't allowed to be mm. at the thing. He snuck me in like yeah, my yeah, homies yeah. used to sneak me into the club, bro. Like mm. he literally was like, yo, this is your teacher's name. This is your homeroom. This is what you do here. Like, he gave me the, like the whole script. Oh, backstory. So I was Just like, sit. okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. He literally was like, if anybody asks you, this uh, is your class. You, you yeah, know, yeah. You, I think Alex, their class names are also letters. So like, it'll be like nine, whatever. B-A-Y-Y. Like, But I think theirs is junior. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Please say it in like comment and let me know if I'm right or wrong. But um, Alex is junior and senior. Mm-hmm. So it'll be like 8J, 8U, 8N, 8I. So he was like, yo, I'm, I really, guys, I might be wrong, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. So he was like, yo, this is your class, and this is your teacher, and are we, you on the sports team, and blah, 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 and this is the coach's name, if anybody it asks is. you. So, so I'm like, sport. 
Bro, he gave me everything. But did you have to like, you like, know, I had to just have the, I had to just have it in the back okay. pocket in case, in case, in case anybody yeah. checked me. But like, obviously, no, uh, they can look at you and say, but I've never seen you in my life. Yeah. So for you to be, give but like also Alex is a big school. Alex is one of the, like, for those of you who don't know, watching from not, well, not in PE, Alex is like a, a very prominent school in PE, like for sports people and oh, yeah. general performance arts. Like their band is amazing. A lot of people who do before, like almost Model C, yeah, close. <laughs> they were a Model C school, really. Yeah, I don't even know that. I'm Model just C saying, like, they have like the very quote unquote Model C school, yeah, I know, but the, it's a very nice school. Mm. Um, I actually wanted to go to Alex, but yeah, no. <laughs> the hood, the hood held me <laughs> back, funny. but it's okay. I digress. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the thing about this, net, like, the, the point I'm getting at is how, how well I blend into crowds. Mm, mm, I went mm -hmm. with Robin, like, so I went to his house, his mom dropped us off, yeah. We got there. So I have homies that went to the school that know for a fact I don't go to the school. Facts, yeah. And I met people that night who were also kind of confused. <laughs> but my homies had my back, man. Like, mm -hmm. even the homies who weren't in on the, st on the stint mm -hmm. were like, mm -hmm. oh, hey, Kev is here. Don't worry, we got you. Yeah, yeah. So they saw me and they're like, oh, hey, Kev, are you doing whatever? And greeting me completely normal. I went to like the tuck shop during one of the intervals. It's like a Mandela thing. effect, maybe. Uh, they just put this man into everyone's like, memory. Oh, what's like, up? Are you oh, doing? Are you brass? What's you good? Nice to see you. Whatever. So I went to the tuck shop mm. at like, they had like a table where they were like selling cool drinks and whatever, okay. right? At yeah. this thing. Yeah, yeah. And this girl was looking at me and she's like, she served me and everything. She took my money and she gave me what I asked for. But and she looked at me and she checked me, bruh. She was like, wait, so who are you now again? Mm, <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm Kevin. And she's like, oh, so you didn't I've stumble. never seen you, bruh. She's like, I've never seen you at school before. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I keep very low profile. I don't mm. like, I don't like go. Mm. I don't hang out in the field. I don't, you know, hang out in one of the quads. I just, you know, I sit inside and whatever. And she's like, okay, what class are you in? She she, she, she did the whole thing. She yeah. asked me all the questions and I had yeah, all the answers lined up. That's crazy. Answered, answered, answered. She's like, okay. And she let me go. I was like, yeah. thank God. But what, was she still like suspicious when she looked at you and you were walking She was, she had like this thing like, I've never seen yeah. you before. Like, still I don't know seems you. Weird, yeah. I then made another friend there. Mm. Um, like, still kind of a friend of mine now when I see him pass, I like, greet, but like, I made a friend there and we were like talking and stuff and blah, blah, whatever. I then s saw this person like probably like months later. Oh, yeah. And then she actually asked me, I haven't seen you at school. Hilarious. And I was like, because I don't go to your school. She's like, wait, what? Yeah. What do you mean you don't go to my school? I'm like, I don't go to your school. I just, yeah, yeah. I came to beat because I'm friends with Robin and I'm friends with this one and this mm -hmm. one and this one. And she was like, Bruh, you literally had me fooled. I swear, I thought you could. I was looking that for you was kind at of school. The point. I went to look for you. <laughs> I couldn't find you. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean, like walking uh, around looking for this person. Uh, it goes looking to for me, like genuinely. Like, I was like wait, then, guys, where's Kevin? Like, I didn't see him during break. <laughs> I didn't see my Derby on Saturday. Like, he wasn't a Derby on Saturday. I'm and like, your no. homie doesn't even say like tell her like. Uh, your no, we didn't know that. Like, oh, I made friends with this person. Okay, it's like oh, when okay. you just meet and you like yeah, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. So yeah, um, Nicole Maestri. <laughs> she was like, bro, I was looking for you at school. I was like, nope, I don't yeah, go yeah. to your school. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go, yeah. That's I was crazy. like, hey, my bad. And it was like a thing because, like, whenever I, I, and people, like, I, I, I love playing the guessing game. So, like, a lot of times when people, like, we had the race conversation before in the podcast, and people are like, they ask me, what are you like? So, like, I can't make it out. Like, are you Muslim? That's like the number one option is they always ask me if I'm Muslim. Then I'll always be like, what do you think I am? Mm. And then, like, it happened with the school thing also before, but mm. people actually asked me, what school did you go to? Mm -hmm. Like, they want to, like, know, like, I don't know, I can't really pinpoint you. Because, like, you can see, like, you meet somebody like this, this is like a grey boy. Yeah, you kind of know. He looks know like a grey boy. I don't know. They attended, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know what it is about you, but you look like you went to grey. Mm -hmm. And then you mm -hmm. ask him, as like, yeah, I'm first in Brag, we grey. Like, I knew it. Makes sense. I Adds knew up. it. Yeah. Besides the fact that your name is Jono, you look like Delirious. a grey boy. <laughs> but then, like, people would always assume, I think mainly it's because of the friends that I had at the time. Um, shout out Devin Fata, he's one of my friends who went to Westring. And because I chilled with him so much, um, people actually, like, there were people who assumed I went to Westring High, and then because of my Alex friends, people assumed I went to Alex mm -hmm. as well. And then I'm like, no, I go to St. Thomas. And they're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yes. wow. Yeah. It's, I mean, so we don't have so any, then there's a whole, oh, no, we, I mean, it's not a bad school. We just, we weren't expecting yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, don't lie, guys. It's it's a bit rough at that school. Yeah, yeah. It's not a horrible Let's school. Let's just be real. Yeah, you get, a good, you get a good education at the school, but like the school itself, it's rough. Yeah. You gotta make sure you... Like amongst your peers and stuff. It's amongst your peers, definitely, bro. You gotta make sure you have got tough, tough skin. Boy. But yeah, like the blending in thing, bro, it's, it's, 
It can be tricky sometimes, but also like but some like, people. Like you said you said you make them basically guess, right? So what's cool? They always say Alex and Westring, those types of things. But I think it's also like of ten times the way you Alex. speak and things like that. Probably. that assume, you know, like they don't expect somebody that goes to, to St. Thomas to be into comic books. Like that's mm, not the last mm, thing you expect. Even a uh, clock, <laughs> shout out clock, the boy clock. Oh. Lucky, oh, yeah. miss you, well me. You, you know, he's someone that went to Saints, right? Ah, oh, he was like, I, I met him, I know him since he was in grade eight. Right? So literally, he's I, also someone I that you know he went like to St. Thomas. Nah, <laughs> this this guy went to a high school. Meanwhile, yeah. like I'm sure Clark went to VP, guys, and then you might yeah, find yeah. It, like Clark lived around the corner from his school. It's like what? Yeah, bro, <laughs> in the hood. Yeah, nah. that was crazy. In Stanford Road. Yeah, I won't say where in case I'm looking for so Clark. Too much. <laughs> too much. You have to too much go down the whole Stanford Road to find yeah, my Clark, yeah. and then you've got to go through me when you get there. <laughs> but uh, wait. plus, he don't even love there anymore. Really. Yeah, no, he doesn't love there anymore anyway. So anyway. my bad, but yeah. Look, here, I went through from mm. one thing to the other. Keep going in some future. Mm. From one thing to the other, now I went to ask you about this because it's not. It happened years ago, mm. but it's just something that I think about from time to time because it's, you know, when something happens, then it's kind of like. Like you'll just sit there one day and you just like in thought and you think, wow, that's crazy. You know mm. what I mean? It's like one of those things. But anyway, to the point. So I still consider him a friend, but we don't really hang out anymore and whatever. But I suppose we're acquaintances. We still talk Facebook, whatever. Cool, sure. But I um, comment on things. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So he basically, like him and I, well, I wouldn't say tight, but we used to hang out often, you know, a few days a week and whatever. And yeah, we were bras and whatever. So we started dating this girl, right? Oh. Uh, no, no, it's not. <laughs> Look, um, okay, so mm. I'm not gonna get into bad detail. I'm just gonna get to the point. So we started dating this girl, and then he basically, like, you could see, man, like he's serious about her and whatever, whatever. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure, it's fine. Um, then I was like, I spoke to him and I was like, yo, you know what, man? I often think that as friends, mm. we are going to um, spend like I picture it like, yo, we 60 sitting at the back porch on the back porch, smoking mm. a pipe, whatever. So I, in my mind, I should get to know this woman. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm. So, but now basically the same thing that I do with Candace. Yeah, literally like make a part of the crew kind of thing. That's the thing that I want to get to. So I was mm. like, because he felt away, and then we kind of didn't really speak about it, fell out, whatever. Okay. Because he felt like I was moving to him, but it literally wasn't that. I was just interested in like to make her feel comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, now he felt away, and then cut ties, whatever, whatever. But yeah, that's it. So my question to you is now with Candace, do you feel like it's weird for me to come and be like, yo? Hell no, I prefer right? it. Literally, I bro, it. like, I don't know, but I guess it just, it makes sense to me that I would I feel like, uh, but then, that dude's probably just insecure about stuff, like, so, uh, the way my, the way I move in relationships, like, especially, like, if I, if, I, if it's a long-term relationship, I've been in, like, a few long-term mm -hmm. relationships, but all my friends who know me for a long time have met my girlfriends, and, like, they know them, mm -hmm. like, we, whenever our girl's having a bride's house, for example, I'm coming with Candice. Candice, yeah, they come as um, a, a duo. When I get invited to family functions, my girlfriend gets invited. When I get invited to my friend's functions, whether it be mm -hmm. the kids' birthdays or whatever, like I bring her with. It's actually uh, you actually bringing up the thing I want to speak about something, but I'll get yeah, after yeah, we yeah. get done with this. So I prefer that I bring my person into my friends mm -hmm. or my people who I consider closest company, mm -hmm. because for one, I want to make her feel secure about me being around these people when mm -hmm. she's not there. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I say to her, um, listen, me and Arla are going away for the weekend. Mm. We're leaving Friday morning, we're coming back Sunday night. Yeah. Because she's been around you so much and knows the kind of person you are, mm. she's not going to have a problem with it because she's like, oh, he's not going to get into any trouble oh, with yeah. Arla. It's not like we're going to tuck or anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. We're not going to go with yeah. pink sherbet and oh, things. Yeah. We're going to just <laughs> chill. We're going to do whatever we said we were going to do. Mm. She could video call me or you at any time of the yeah. of the mission yeah. and you'd be like, we'll oh, be wait, I'm going to go call yes, Kev yeah. now. He's yeah. just in the bathroom quickly yeah, and then it's going to be normal. But I've actually wouldn't say I've experienced things like that, but I've experienced it kind of in reverse. But I'll get to it now. Yeah. But with me, it's very different. So I I agree with you. Where it's like I'd rather have my and I'm I'm the same with my friends' girlfriends as well. Like if you bring your girlfriend into our group of friends and we're chilling, I'm gonna be like, oh hey, how are you? Nice yeah, to meet you. 100%. I'm Kevin. I'm Adil's friend and yeah. whatever. Like I'll I'll actually give us a backstory. Like mm -hmm. I know you from here. Mm -hmm. This is how we know each other. Mm -hmm. um, we went to church on Christmas Eve, and one of my friends was there. But like, I know him from when we were, but I we were like pre tweens kind of thing. We were like, I met him when we were like nine, yeah. and I haven't seen him in basically a year. Mm -hmm. But in the time, in the time that passed, in the space of a year, he became a father. Okay. So I was like, yo, I need to go say hi. Yeah. So I walked up to him. I was like, hey man, how are you doing, bro? It's, it's been a minute. Yo, congratulations. You know, oh, yeah. welcome to the dad club and whatever. Yeah. And he was like, yo, bro, thank you. Yeah, it's been a minute as well. It's nice to see you. Mm -hmm. And I saw his 
I don't know if it's his wife. I think it's his wife. I'm sh- pretty sure that it's his wife because he's like a he's a wholesome he's a wholesome dude. So I'm sure that they married. Because <laughs> uh, with me, obviously, it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> not, <laughs> not the point. I digress. So, so I introduced myself to his to his other half, and I was like, "Hey, oh, my name is Kevin." Justin and I grew up together. Mm. I used to live next door to his grandmother. Mm. That's how we know each other. So mm. that she knows, oh, th- oh, okay. She has a reference point as to how I know her yeah. husband and yeah. whatever and why I'm actually coming all the way to speak to them. Mm. So I mean, Arian mm. Convo, like, bro, how's things been? How's the light you doing? And whatever, whatever. After things are done, I was like, nah, but look, you're good luck with everything. And like, I hope things go well. I hope he's like, like healthy and things. Yeah. Gave, you know, a young shoulder bump. Mm. Said bye to her and I left. But like, I feel like dudes who feel, unless it's being made blatantly obvious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That your friend is trying to like flirt with your girlfriend, Mister steal your girl. You know, right? Mister. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you, like it, it, normally in like Snake in the grass. certain clicks, there's like the guys know. There's like the one friend. Guys, don't bring your girlfriend. I, I've never, I've heard of this yeah. person in different friend circles. I haven't experienced it myself. But it's uh, before you continue. Like I don't understand how this can happen, and you can still be bras with this person afterwards. No, I wouldn't be able. Like to there's rules, maybe. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be able to be friends yeah. with this person afterwards. Like, but I'd be like, nah, dude. Like I'm sorry, you can't. Yeah, you're doing too much now. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, but I I agree with you. In I yeah, yeah. like agree with you wholeheartedly with with that whole thing because mm. it's weird. Like yeah, I, I don't understand. I, I Especially if you, if you can see your bras just being nice. Like, yeah. if your friend is just being friendly mm. and just like making conversation, mm. like making sure that you don't have to worry about your girlfriend because she's like, nah, if she's thirsty, maybe we'll sort out whatever. Yeah. Just being like courteous, yeah. then I don't see the reason but why I, I need to I, talk about I it. I think, you know, everybody is a hero in their own story. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, nobody really likes to take accountability and stuff. So <laughs> maybe I might have said something, yeah, you know, that might have come across exactly certain a way. certain way or whatever. Because then you should, if, you, if it's your bra. I always give people the like Benef- I give benefit you a, of the doubt. No, wouldn't say the benefit of the doubt. I give you a chance to actually explain yourself. I'll mm. ask you maybe look at this happened the other day. What is mm, what's mm, up? Mm, like tell me where your mind mm. is at so that I know like, okay, cool, you were Yeah. You didn't actually mean it that way. Yeah. And I'd be like, Okay, cool, we can let it slide. Mm. Sometimes I get very hot at it and I'm like, yo, nah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's, like, yo, what's good with it? You know, like but like, never, like <laughs> Oh yeah. But Nine to ten times I try my best to just be like, dude, listen, I need you to explain what I saw yeah. or what I heard. Mm. Which brings me to something that I want to ask you about. But I do agree with you. Yeah, I yeah, do agree yeah, that, 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 I mean, if, it, if it's a necessary, if the, if the reaction is a necessary, especially if it's a friend of yours and yeah. it's a bra like that you said you, you did spend frequent time with and you yeah. have a good relationship with, yeah. then I mean, it's as simple as being like, dude, listen, man, like, what mm. is up? Mm. Do I have mm-hmm. a reason to worry? Yeah. Or then you would have been like, maybe don't know, like, mm. that's not what this is about. I'm just trying to make your girlfriend feel comfortable yeah. around us. Oh, yeah, so she doesn't I mean, feel I don't even think we spoke about it for real. Like, he told someone, and then they said, you know what and I mean? And then it came out to you. Yeah, but at that's the same time, it was also like, um, I don't know. I, I guess we just didn't have the t- type of relationship where he thought he could probably speak to me about yeah, it. Like, whatever, like yeah. let you know. And even at the same time, I can understand where he's coming from, from the perspective of, like, Bro, you could probably know people for the longest time, but they're still a snake in the grass, and they'll still say, like, you know what I mean? Like, no, it's not like that, and whatever. Boom, text your girl next minute type vibe. So, yeah, but anyway. About uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About Is that, that. The, the next thing? About so no. that. I don't okay. even know how you knew. I was going to say didn't. you didn't know. Because yeah. <laughs> we it's didn't a discuss it. Well, we were just sitting up all the stuff. I, like, literally told Adil, I was like, I actually have something I want to bring up on the podcast, but I'm not going to tell you now. I'm going to leave it for a surprise. Oh, yeah. And he's kind of bringing something, like, kind of derivative. Mm. But, um, yeah. So, <laughs> on the topic <laughs> of this, right? So, earlier on in, like, let's like, like just say in December. Okay. I met up with some relatives, mm. right? Now, like we said before, like we was, like I was saying earlier, I would rather prefer to bring my girlfriend around my friends yeah. so that she kind of knows. And then also they can also kind of reveal themselves and I see who they are. And I'm like, okay, cool. Now I know. Mm. Let's not do that anymore. Mm, mm, mm. But when it comes to your family, you'd think that it'd be safer. <laughs> right? Yeah. you think it'd be safer. Boy, was I mistaken. <laughs> anyways, anyways, let me get into it. So I was hanging out with my cousins, right? By the way, guys in the comments, please, I would love for you all to weigh in on this because I really would love to know what you think because maybe my, re- okay, I don't think my reaction was unjustified at all. <laughs> <laughs> not even slightly. Hilarious. But anyway, so we went to my cousin's place. Mm. I'm not going to divulge any details because there are a lot of people there would know exactly where and why, when I was talking about, but okay. I'm just going to like generalize. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So we went to my cousin's house, right? We invited us over. The kids were there, so the, the kids were playing together. We were all chilling Proper together. Proper family day. Like right. a family thing, yeah. Like, but it was mainly my cousins and the kids. Mm, mm, mm. So we're all hanging out, we're all chilling. Now, the dynamic with me when I was growing up, I didn't have um, 
a lot of cousins who were my age. Like mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't have cousins. A lot of cousins in my age group. Like on my mother's side, I have like two or three. Yeah. And on my dad's side, I have like maybe like one or two Same or so. Me, yeah. I don't have a lot of cousins in my age. age. In like 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 let's say two years younger and two years older than me. There's not a lot of them. Mm. I have a lot of older cousins and a lot. I have a lot of younger, younger cousins. cousins but because of because of that, I spent a lot more time with my older cousins because there were more of them. Mm. And because of that, I was always the baby. Yeah. It's always the youngest, like by four or five years, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That's how I got to go to club when I was younger. Like Hilarious. my cousins always uh, uh, sneak me in and stuff when I was like seventeen. But mm. my parents are finding that out now for the first time. Heavy, <laughs> but it's all good. But anyways, long I di- I digress. Like, I'll continue. Yeah. So what happened was we went and we were chilling and everything was having everything was fine and I kept on checking on Candace like, are you okay? Is everything fine? She's like, no, I'm having a great time. Mm. Everyone is so nice, mm. they're so friendly, everything is cool. At some point in the evening, one of my older cousins, like one of the oldest ones over there, like we also hung out a lot when I was growing up. Mm. He was kind of being a bit weird and I didn't really pay much mind to it because I just thought, okay, maybe he's just drunk. Mm. Maybe he's maybe he's just had a lot of alcohol. Maybe that's the whole point. Yeah. But like I could see him and like the way his dude's eyelids were like hanging low, like very like, wasn't hanging low to like, like he was he was making them hang low. Mm-hmm. Not like when you when you drunk then like naturally like dangle. Mm-hmm. He was like, like light he was skin doing face? like the, he was doing you know Hilarious. light skin face That's like crazy. he was doing the whole you know like yeah, the whole and yeah. I was I saw it and I was like okay but I left it and then mm. like I walked in on conversations here or there but when I walk in on the conversation the conversation all of a sudden gets very light oh, yeah. and everything is cool now yeah and then when I walk away I can see again the whole you know the mm. smoldering eye but and he's talking to Candace at this point yeah. in time so I'm like okay anyways long story short we leave I've been to two about something else that happened when we were there so I was like listen. Cause she said, you know, she wants to tell me something as well. So I'm like, cool, we're riding home. And then she tells me that my cousin was making a s- certain, certain types of remarks and, mm. and stuff like that. So um, for those of you who do know my girlfriend now, guys, we have tattoos all over the place, right? And we were, it was a hot day, but the sun was literally scorching outside. Mm. So we wore like shorts and like I wore yeah. a t-shirt with like a soccer jersey. So the wind just blew right through it. Mm. She had a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. So we were dressed comfortable for the weather. Of course, yeah. And she's got tattoos on her. She's got like daytime. Yeah, but I'm yeah. like midday. Okay. So she's got a tattoo on her thigh mm. and um, she's got tattoos on her shins. Mm. And he was like making remarks about like her legs and mm. about, like, I'm not going to get into what he said yeah, actually, no, but he, he was just making the kind of thing. He was just saying, the kind of things you do not say mm. to your cousin's girlfriend, mm. to any relative's yeah. other Makes significant sense, other. Yeah. That's insane so I was in like, itself. I was like, okay. And she was like, are you okay? I'm like, no, no, no I'm cool. Like, mm-hmm. I'm fine. That's cool. Because that's, I still said, I was like, I didn't expect this. Like, mm. I expected him to say stupid things. Mm. I expected him to fall over. I expected a lot of other things. I did not expect him to make advances at all. But I was yeah. like, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Mm. I was like, I just looked at it. I just turned to while I was driving. But I was like, don't worry. This is never going to happen again. Crazy. Literally never gonna happen again. And she was like, why? I was like, no, 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 just trust me, it's never gonna happen again. So we went home and I was bra I was like I was I was pissed about it. I was like, yo. I was like, I'm ready to go to this dude's house like now. But I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna calm down about it first and I'm gonna gonna approach him when I'm fu- when I'm like when I've let off a lot of the steam. Because if, if I leave the steam and I go with the steam, yeah, yeah nah. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a mess. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, find me in holding. Crazy. I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> I tried to let it blow. And guys, seriously, please let me know what you would have done in the situation. I would love to read the comments and see what you guys would have done. But so what I did was this happened on a Saturday afternoon. Mm. I left it. The Monday came. Mm. I went around to his house. He wasn't at home. His mom was there. So I was like, hey, um, I went straight off to work. So I'm like, yo, um, no, I'm oh, man, I was just actually passing through, but I wanted to speak to him. Let him know that I was here. So she's like, okay. So no. this is just playing on your mind all day at work. Me like, bro. Like I'm to go. Crazy. Yo. Just, I'm like running this situation through my mind. Like what I'm going to do when I get there. Like <laughs> am I going to kick him in the chest it's first? Or like what am I going to do? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Am, am I going to immediately establish dominance? Or oh, am I going to yeah, yeah. let it build up? Like am I going to speak situation? nicely first? Yeah. And then like when he's like when he brushes it off and makes it sound like not a big deal. Mm-hmm. Is that when I smack him? Mm-hmm. Or like. Well, like when, yeah, 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 when yeah. do I like go super sin and oh when yeah. does my hair turn gold oh and yeah. like when do I, you yeah, know, yeah. when does it happen? So I'm like, it okay, you know, just don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Just calmly talk to the dude. If you need to grab him by his collar and be like, brah, I'm telling you straight. I know you guys think that I'm the baby cousin and things, mm. but I'm not a baby. I'm 31 years old. I will mm. 
I will slap the crap out of oh, you right yeah. now, bro. Yeah. I'm a grown man. Yeah. I have a seven-year-old kid. I'm not a baby anymore. Yeah. If I need to trip your ass, phew. Skit the tail. Uh, skit the wor tail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm running the scenario through my head, and I finally get there. Brother, him. His mom tells me, oh, no, he only comes... It's so the anticlimactic, by the way. Ah, I'm like, about mm. all this stuff and all of this stuff. No, go home to tell Candace about the thing, and I'm like, oh, no, I went to go and approach the situation because, I mean, I'm like... But how was she feeling? Because you told her, like... She, let it, she was so like, listen, at school, man, like, he was drinking and whatever. Yeah, it's not a big obviously, deal. yeah, but like... So I'm like, no, mm. that is not an excuse. Doesn't make that it is acceptable. never, yeah. ever acceptable mm. for that kind of behavior. Mm. And also, like, but I, I've been in relationships before where, like, people, like... I don't even know what it was. Maybe just because I was also a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was because of my surname. I don't really know what it was. Mm-hmm. But I've, I've been in relationships before where, like, I just got treated badly for no reason. Yeah. I, I don't know who? to this day. Like, by my girlfriend at the time, is family members or oh, whatever. Okay, or yeah. Friends yeah, even, yeah, or whatever yeah. the case is. They yeah. just didn't like me for mm-hmm. whatever reason. And I'm sure there are a lot of guys that they experienced it as well. But you... you Hospi- like what can I say? You, you go to yes, you go inside and greet. You help people with whatever you do, whatever you need to do, and they still just don't like you. Mm. These but these guys, people are gonna like you, and people are not gonna like you. Thanks. But anyways, I have not experienced this with Candace enough family, so there's no way I'm gonna put her in a situation where I'm gonna let her feel uncomfortable mm. around my family. I don't care who it is. Especially because you've been through it so many times. You know like what I'm saying? I would never want any of my friends to go through that or any like. Yeah. That's not a very nice feeling. Yeah. But anyways. His mom's like, oh no, he only gets home from work at six. I'm like, cool, no problem. Mm. Wednesday, six o'clock, I'm back at his house. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm like, okay. Just so we're gonna settle weak, this thing. Bro. Like, I was there Monday. Wednesday, I'm back. Uh. Just after six, actually, I thought, let me give him some time to take off, you know, take, to, to get out of the work mm. and mm-hmm. like, we're gonna have just a still No, I'm like, nah, man, I, wanna, I, I wanted to look <laughs> random. I don't want to look like I've been timing. I wanted oh, to look really? random. I wanted to look like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, Popping my sister in. lives like right next door, so it was easy, it's convenient. I could yeah. just say, oh no, I was here by Fallon, I'm coming. Mm-hmm. Come to come see what's up. Oh, yeah. Go there at about like half past six, the brass still not at home. Mm. But I was like, oh no, I don't know why, but he's been working late the whole week. Mm. So I don't know if. He knew. He found out that I was looking for his oh, ass. Okay, yeah. Because his mother. The Monday mark looking. Yeah, he was like, he found out. I don't know what it was, but like, I could not find mm. this bra to be like, yo, listen. Mm-hmm. And I still would like to have the conversation, be like, dude, listen. The one place I didn't expect. So you still like, didn't get him, basically. I still didn't get yeah. him, bra. And that happened in the, the beginning of December. Yeah. So yeah. Just bra, it's what? been a while. I've <laughs> been waiting to find this dude. Geeks, man, just avoiding you, bra, avoiding you. Like, that's hilarious. He's literally like, you know, like uh, when, when you watch football games and yeah. guys like dodging, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Bah, he's hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, so like, and at this um, point, it's just a conversation. It's not, yeah, I'm, I I'm actually like over it already. Yeah. I just want to let you know, like, dude, like, I don't appreciate the inappropriateness of what mm. you did and what you said. Yeah. Like, don't do it again. Because but let me ask you this though, because I don't really, I don't understand the whole idea of thinking. Because some people say you don't control what you do kind of thing. You black out, you wake up, you find out you did this, did that. So, like, how do you know it's not something that he kind of doesn't even remember? You know what I'm saying? Well, I w- that's why I wanted to ask him. Like, oh. the conversation was supposed to start with, listen, do you, like, I was hoping to do it in the week off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was going to be like, do you remember what happened on Saturday? Mm-hmm. Like, do you remember anything about mm-hmm. the day? Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Because mm-hmm. that's where I wanted to start with. Mm-hmm. So if he, because if he says yes, like yeah, no, I do. Then I'll be like, okay. So then you were conscious of what, of you, what did. you did. Yeah. Then you like you know what yeah. you did, because if he's like, nah, no, I don't. Mm. Then I'll be like, okay, because I'm here to tell you what happened. Okay. Because I was gonna say, say you can just say, Man, remind me. I'm not. I'll too be like, yeah, I'm here to remind you, know. you, and I'm here to also remind you when I say if it ever happens again. Skit mm. you a tail. Smack bro. down, boy. Skit, I'm gonna skit you a tail. Yeah. Your feet will be where your head used to be, kind of thing, bro. Oh, this is one way to tell him. I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you still didn't get him, so like, I guess. Well, like, I, like I said, I'm making, I'm making, I'm making the scenario very vague, so like, yeah. we don't really know. Because yeah, yeah. we, we did do things and go out with like Violet and do different cousins, so like, mm-hmm. there are people who are watching this video who know exactly who what I'm, oh, yeah. I'm talking about. But yeah, so yeah, it's it's like I'm. I wouldn't say I'm a very confrontational person. I don't go looking for reasons to go and confront people. Yeah. But when the time comes, I'm like, yo, I. I do know how to like start off the conversation. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people who don't know how to do it, but like, yeah, because I think you're a very good communicator. So it's like for yeah. me, I've never even seen you get like upset or anything. You literally talk yeah, to you know, people for years, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Like, little, like, but that's why it's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but like yeah, that obviously you know. flipped my switch because I was like, the one place I expect to go and not have to worry about, like, if it was a different setting, if we were in a public place with my friends, like if yeah. we had to go to like the beach. Mm. And me and Candice and Violet met up with our friends at the beach. Mm. And that had to happen with a stranger. My reaction would obviously have been different. Mm. I'd be like, you know what, let's rather leave. Mm. I don't know a stranger. I don't know what this dude is capable of. 
I know my cousin though. Mm, 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 I know how to whoop your ass. Mm. <laughs> like I know for a yeah. fact how to do it. Yes. So it's like, if I, you know, mm. if we had to, uh, I'd rather confront a relative than confront a stranger. One hundred percent. I'd sense, rather yeah. like I would rather go speak to any one of my cousins mm. or my sister or whoever and be like, "You being a d, mm. don't do this." Like, and I'm not an trying idiot. to downplay the situation because it's quite serious. But like, yeah. I think it's almost like uh, if it was to break out in a fight or whatever, oh. it's kind of a thing of like um, brother fight kind of thing. Do you exactly. understand what I'm saying? But uh, for the reason, the reason though is a bit, oof, it's a bit yeah. real. But you know what I mean? The reason is very real. Exactly. So. That was like. It was so it was so, it was frustrating because like I said it's the one place where you expect you could just go and hang out and, and not have to worry about anyone and, yeah. or anything going wrong mm. because mm. you are around like we were in a closed environment mm. we were in a private environment mm. at my cousin's place and it was just relatives around mm. me and that is what like really bothered me about the situation because it yeah. wasn't like there was only one person there who wasn't a relative mm. and it was one of my cousin's work colleagues who She's not from town, so they brought her to come and spend some time with people because yeah, she doesn't really have a social life down here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to just do something with her. So besides that girl, there was nobody else who wasn't related to me. Mm. So it's like now you'd feel a bit iffy about like, can I even bring my f daughter and my girlfriend around, or yeah, you know, eventually sense. my wife around people that yeah. are my relatives? Because what is gonna go wrong? Who's gonna say something? Who's gonna do something mm. before like, and then I react. Yeah. And I do something, and then I'm the bad guy because yeah, yeah but Kevin, you didn't have to hit him over the head with a chopping board. <laughs> what do you mean I didn't have to? This is what so he needed. <laughs> but <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying because I'm just like, like, which is the closest thing? Mug. Yeah, facts. <laughs> like uh, out yeah. of anger, but so, yeah, I, I hear it. I hear it. Yeah. I hear it. But these Please, guys, like, I, I would love to know what you would do in that yeah, situation. Like, it's 100%. A, I, I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would probably have the same reaction that I. I'm sure there are people there. Like, there are people who are watching this who would be like. I would have beat his ass immediately. Mm. <laughs> sure, one hundred percent. I'm bro. sure there are people like nah, but I'd have smacked him immediately. Yeah, instantly. Other, other would have, others would have been like nah, I'd have left it. But like, I would like to know because I still yeah. haven't had this conversation yet, and I'm, mm. I wouldn't say that I'm like waiting or burning to have it, mm -mm -mm. but like, I need to make the point, man. Yeah, I need yeah, to yeah, like yeah. address the matter and yeah. let it be like, listen, guys, we are all. And I say this about a lot of things. I feel like it's the principle of the matter. At the end of the day, you can't just do that and think, okay, no, it's gonna blow over or whatever. Hey, bro. Come February, <laughs> you're still gonna be <laughs> when you were least expect. You yeah. forgot the boy happened. Yeah, I still remembered. Yeah, you know, uh, of course. And you know what Crazy. I missed about is I spoke to one of my other cousins about it. I was like, "Brad, this happened." I, uh, on the same day, uh. I WhatsApped him. I was like, "Brad, look here, this is this this, is, this just happened." Mm. And whatever, and he was like, "Are you serious?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm dead serious." Mm. And he was like, "Wouldn't be the first time." So I'm like, "What do you mean?" Whoa. He's like, "Oh no, it happened with me also, but not as bad as what happened to you today. Mm. Like it mm. happened before, mm. and like I also just kind of like diffused the night, did whatever, but." Didn't happen as bad as what happened with you today, bro. That's mm. actually a, this is actually peeing me off. Mm. I'm like I'm, I'm upset. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, bro. So I'm like, what time is it? Get them from work, you know. I'm like, yo, like I want to know what time he's gonna be home because obviously it was the weekend, so he was gonna be out in the streets doing yeah, his thing. Yeah. I wasn't to know when is he gonna be home, so I can yeah. just go make a turn and be like, yo. Yeah. You know, you need to have I mean, uh, you're still being considered another person yeah. who go before he goes to work. Rooney is old. <laughs> 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 oh my word. <laughs> I don't think I'll make it before he goes to work because I could yeah. work like super early in the morning. Yeah, but I digress. But like, yeah, like I would love to know what everyone else thinks about it. Please, like, like yeah. 100%. Let me know if my actions were justified. Let me know if my reasoning is justified. Mm. And what you would do in that situation because I'm just like ready to go to this, but I'm like, yo, dude, listen, we're never doing that again. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's it. not. This is not uh, appropriate behavior for family to be doing. Yeah. Uh, do, like, like you were bring it, uh, bringing it up about a friend and somebody in their mind thinking that this is happening, but it's not actually what's happening. Mm. But uh, it this really happened, happened yeah. to me. Like I it was it. real. Like, no I, I was, like I said, when I, when I walked into the conversation, all of a sudden it's like general, like mm. normal. Though. And then when I walk away, then all of a sudden, you yeah, know, it's like light skin mode. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I'm like, dude, why, man? Oh, yeah. For what? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm thinking, I even, crazy, like, I spoke man, about it after. So I said, you know what, now, there was a random girl here mm. at the, mm. not to say that, like, anything about that at all, but if you wanted to flirt with somebody, here's the perfect person mm. because she's not attached to anyone. Mm. She's not even from PE. Yeah. So if you want to practice your skills, there you go. Yeah. Why must you come it. and, you know? 100%. Rah, it's not making like, sense, my bro. I was like, yo, guys. And I don't want to get into now a whole thing, but it's also like, why do people think, my bro, that you can just approach someone <laughs> else's... I, okay, obviously cheating is a big thing. It's mm. a moose thing, we know that. Yeah. But it's like, why do you just assume it's okay to approach someone else's uh, 
other half yeah, and assume like thing. it's fine. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like that's crazy, my bro. Not everyone cheats. Relax. Yeah. Because what was he hoping for? I have no clue. That's Especially mad, because I'm standing. Guy. Guys, let me put it into perspective for you. We were in a yard, and it's not like I left and went to the shop. You could look, look right and then there, there, kind of thing. As as okay, if I move like basically out of frame, like yeah. Mm. As far as Ardil is from me, that's how far they were from me. It's so, not like I was like down the road or yeah. like it's not like I left and came back and yeah. when I while I was gone this happened. Mm. Bro, it happened as soon as I turned my back. Yeah. Hey bro, I mean, that's, no the, that's the thing that bothers me. It's like you <laughs> couldn't even like wait until I left yeah, to fact. try your bubble. You're like yeah. you, you did it while I was standing. Yeah. There. That's that's even more disrespectful. Yeah. Oh. And I understand. And before anyone says anything, because I'm sure everybody feels, I know that it's very disrespectful to my girlfriend because it happened to her. But I feel like it's even way more respect disrespectful to me, because first of all, you're my relative, you're my older cousin. Mm. Second of all, I'm standing right here. Hilarious. Was it like you k- bumped into her at the club mm. somewhere or you bumped into her at Bay West and mm. you... No, 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 no. You were at a family function with us. I that brought really her there with me and you felt like this was okay. And uh, the family thing is crazy, me, bro. Oh, you you it's think it's... Nah, like everything is... You don't have to s- look at... Watch your back, basically. You know what you I mean? think that you don't have to? Yeah. Have, no, you have to. Fuck all of you have to. You have to watch yourself. Take a pair of googly eyes and glue them to the back, back of, of your, your head. head. You have to... <laughs> Well, yes, I know it's family, my guy. I did the God right. of War review episode um, like a while back on the mixed reviews. Mm. Like for those of you who have played, uh, you have never played the game before. So in the game, not the new one. No. I'm, a, I'm, like, I'm gonna make a reference to something for those of you who know who Mimir is. In the game you play, and there's this dude. He's like uh, in that world, he's the smartest man alive. He knows like everything, mm. right? It's not and the head that he carries around. The head that he okay, carries. Okay, you know yeah, why yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah. Because the head that he carries whenever he's fighting. The head will actually say, watch, watch out back. behind uh, you. Hilarious. <laughs> That's you crazy. Like tie your head to your back of your <laughs> shit. And you're like, bruh. Make your waist. You know what I'm saying? Your behind you. Exactly. So like, it's yeah, but anyways. So that that was the thing I wanted to bring up because I just, I, I feel like yeah. it, was an, it was intense, bruh. Yeah, and like I've said, you guys can play therapist if you will. Please do. And just, you know, drop some comments. Do. Let us know how, what your opinion oh. is and stuff and whatever. Um, but from one thing to another, I do want to end off with something because we no. probably rap. We don't even know. We didn't time ourselves or whatever. Not at all. But um, let's just end off with something here. So I want to give you a scenario. Let's go. Right. So who would you say is like your best friend, someone that you would travel with? That I would travel with? Yeah. I've got a few. Off the top of my head right now, uh. I can think of two. Beardman Eats, my homie Kershaw, okay. and another friend of mine. Uh, her name is Kim. Okay. Okay. Oh, so Kim. for this scenario, we're going to say oh, Kershaw is the person. Eh? Yeah. So you I travel anyway with Kershaw, yeah. Kershaw's yeah. Uh, is dope. We okay. went to Islandon to visit him for like a weekend once. Okay. So we're like... Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, perfect then. For the sake of the story, we'll just say, okay, it's Russia. Eh? We'll say Russia. Russia? Mm. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> you guys cool. are vibing most now, daytime mm. drinking, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but earlier in the day, let's just say Kershaw ran out of the hotel maybe to go do something and then he came back. Eh? Okay. So it's almost now no big deal. Everything's hunky-dory. Owns is going to go out to have a good time. Mm. Boom, you're driving, you're driving, you're now on your way to, I don't know, let's just say like a, a restaurant, spot, a, yeah, a restaurant club, whatever. Boom, uh, the Russian mob pulls up, right? Damn, okay. Lock you off and whatever. So, you think, okay, cool, the only way out here is because, okay, let's just say for, we don't, we've never been to Russia, so we don't know, but I'm just saying they run the, the city, whatever. Mm. Cool, Moscow, let's just say, cool. So, you get, uh, no, Kershaw gets away. Mm. He's like, sprints, Bolt. He's bolts. Gone, yeah. yeah, they catch you though. Okay. Right. So let's say you guys had. I'm like the collateral. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys had a conversation maybe just before this happened about where he was going or whatever. whatever. Or, um, okay, I don't want to say, I don't want to, I was going to say like maybe he told you like if something must pop off, this is where he's going to go. But let's not do that. Let's just say you're you having a good like time. Like he told me where the safe house is. Exactly. But he didn't because who's, who, you know what I mean? Who you would never think something house, yeah. like this would happen. Mm-hmm. Boom. So they take you into custody. I was yeah. kidnapping, but custody. And they're like, okay, cool, you need to tell us where Kershaw is and stuff. So how many fingernails before you give him up? How many fingernails? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn. I mean, we're going to torture you now. Like, yo, okay, this is the thing. Like, if they start off with my right hand, I'm telling immediately, bro. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it immediately. I'm saying something instantly. Yeah. I can't, bro. The, okay. For those of you who, okay, you, you will know now, and I think we've mentioned in the podcast before, I'm an artist, so this, mm. this is where my guap comes from. Hilarious. This hand right here. Never so be able to travel you, again if yo, you take your finger out, right? Dude, like, 
Uh, my the, the living is over. <laughs> like my me making a living is done after you like mess up this hand. Yeah. We're not doing it. It's over. Look, when I it's so look at it's it's so intense. I promise yeah. you now. Yeah. When when I need to promise Candace something, mm. if we're having a conversation about something, mm. and like she needs, she's like, I need you to promise me. Mm. I need you to swear on something. I'm like, babe, I swear on my right hand. Crazy. I swear. I promise you, yeah. it's a thing. Yeah. I'll be like, babe, I swear, baby, I swear on my right hand. Yeah. Like I really do mean this. Oh, I, I'm really crazy. gonna do this. That's interesting. Because like she knows, like, bro, like yeah. the pencil in this hand is everything. Like yeah. it needs to happen. So if they like. You know, dial the left hand, and mm. they're talking get information, and they give so up. So all your fingers on your left hand. If they take all on every single nail off my left hand, I'm good. I don't beep anymore. I don't need my left hand anymore. Hilarious. I don't need to, like for my coin drops. Yeah. I don't need this hand anymore. Oh, but yeah. you, hilarious. <laughs> if that dude says cut off finger on the left hand, is basically gone, worth left fingers. Kershaw would left know hand. this. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure no. Kershaw would know this. I'm sure if they asked him. Um, I'm gonna me. repeat the question. Uh, yeah, like if you see him, they ask him if they tell him. <laughs> this is a good one. Mm. If they tell Christian, tell us where Kevin is or we'll shave off your beard, he'll be like, <laughs> Yo, he's there, he's there. Okay, listen. He's in a last time I heard, uh, he yeah. said he was going here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sure, nah. beard, boy. I'm sure he would yes, not want to yes. give up his beard. Kershaw, I met Kershaw. Yo, I know Kershaw for a long time and I met him with a beard. But I know really? him pretty COVID and I met him with a beard. Yeah. With and like I've seen photos night. without and it's just, it looks weird. weird. I'm yeah, like, real. Because you met him a certain kind of way. Yeah. Like if people meet me, like now, if you're, mm. like, I'm pretty sure that it's weird for you to guys, for you guys to watch the podcast right now and see me with no braids. <laughs> because yeah, yeah. I debuted in the podcast with Even like four episodes of old photos when Kevin was in high school, man looked like, my bro, the hair was just normal to the front, whatever. Like now fading I'm things crazy, and spikes and bro. things. Now I've got like a whole... And I haven't seen... I think there was a period where I didn't see you for a while. So mm. I knew you were growing your hair out and whatever, but yeah. bro, when I saw you, I was like, whoa. Transformation. Man can do this. Yeah. It's luscious. And the weird thing is that like you're bringing it up. I don't think that I've changed much. You can throw like an old photo of me in the edit, but like from yeah. high school up until now, I look exactly the same. Yeah, Asian, like I'm a bit Asian like rounder in the though. face, like a little bit round in the face and like a little bit rounder in certain parts. Mm. But like this part here, it's mm. not exactly the same. That <laughs> is so crazy, weird. bro. If I so shave crazy. clean, we actually did a photo like, oh, it was my granny's 80th birthday, like 2019 actually. Mm. And we retook a photo. We took it, my cousin's matric farewell. Oh, so it's just like my, my granny's grandchildren. Okay. Like the ones who were close to them. Yeah. five cousins. We all, all, all of our names start with the letter K. Oh, is it? So it's me, Kevin, and then there's Kelly, Keenan, and Karen. But we had another cousin. His name is Emmanuel. But we always used to say this: the K is silent. <laughs> Hilarious, yeah. So it's like K E M M. But yeah, but we yeah, were very yeah, really close yeah. to him. Like we, we all like spent a lot of time together mm -hmm. when we were growing up. So we retook a photo. We took at his metric field because it was the five. He was in the middle, and the five of us were like framing him. Mm. And then we retook the photo, like so. He was in metric in 2010. Yeah. So we retook the photo later. nine years later, mm. and. People were literally saying, bro, it looks like you age in reverse because really you look is. older in the matric farewell photo than yeah. you do in the photo that you took like now. It is so, crazy. So yeah, the Asian jeans are super strong. Yeah. For those of you who- Yeah, bro. I, the Asian jeans come through now and again. Yeah, the rest of us, we just call it me. <laughs> get old normal. There's no craziness it's about regular it. regular brown. You get me. <laughs> just so. But yeah, but like uh, uh, back to what you were talking about. Yeah. I'd, bro, I would- Look, it would take some torturing to get it out to me, but there's mm. certain things where I'm like, oh, no, nah, guys, this isn't worth it. Like mm. like I said, anything from this point, mm -hmm. like from that point upwards, you're getting any information you need. That's crazy. <laughs> any, you want so you, even if they start oh, no, with, no. Your, with your toenails, you'll be fine. Oh, go for it. Just like insanity. Go bro. for it, go for it. I, okay. I have loyalty to my homies, but also like I'm sure that even my homies know. Yeah, bro. Like if you, yeah. nah, if Kevin can't draw anymore, he's giving us up. Oh, yeah, hilarious. <laughs> he's giving us up. Yeah, bro. There's no he's other way. He's tweeting like Tweety Bird, bro. Yeah, he's gonna sing, sing, he's gonna sing like a songbird. <laughs> <laughs> like it's over. Yeah, what do they call these birds? That, like they constantly make a noise. I think they're called love birds, but they only make a noise when there's two of them together. Yeah. Like if it's a male and a female, yeah, yeah. I would sing like them, bro. Hilarious. Like I'm telling everything. Yeah, bro. You must know. I'll, I'll immediately I'll squeal. Yeah. Why <laughs> do you wanna hurt me, my bro? I'll tell you immediately. I mean, f it. I don't care because I, I know for a fact, like let's say Dula is one of my closest oh, yeah, yeah, friends. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Dula. Shout out Dula, but he <laughs> would rat me out immediately. <laughs> you won't even give it's it a second thought. They didn't even get to the location yet. He's already he's in, the car, in the car. Really? Oh, he's if like, you turn left now, you'll I find know exactly him. exactly where. Like, if you turn left now, you'll find him. So like, yeah. I, know, I know that's what they would do, basically. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it is what it is. So um, yeah, I know it's, 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 I would, I would, um, yeah. If it can, <laughs> like you could even like guys, it's, it's to a point where like I promise you, like you could shave me bald, mm. I still wouldn't say anything. I'd be like, 
Fine. Russia's going to grow back. Yeah. <laughs> it's just genuinely fine. Are we talking but Russian mob, me bro? They're no, going to do no, something crazy. They're going to do something crazy. Yeah. They're going to like pull your teeth at one mm-hmm. by one. Kind exactly. Of and that's awesome. not going to fly. Like, oof. The pain you know, the factor is like bra. insane. Imagine. And the fact that you're like, you're going to be like. And this isn't the you know. dentist. They don't put you under. <laughs> <laughs> they just pliers <laughs> and like. Why do we quit first? But um, yeah, nah, bro. You could, they could do anything else to me. They could like whip me like a slave. Mm. I won't say anything. As soon, okay, maybe not, okay. Yeah, depends. Cause like I don't uh, the tattoos on my back. Yeah, Candice and I actually had a conversation about this because mm. I had a, but like a, you can't really see. Okay, the camera won't get it. But if you look closely, like at my arm, mm. you can see it's a bit rashier. Mm. And I'm like, I'm feeling a kind of way about it because I'm like, ah, oh, it's my spider tattoo, so I don't want anything to happen to it. Yeah. And I've got tattoos on my back as well. I've got two coefficients. I don't care about what happens to the one on the top of my back, but the lower one. Is a, t- a tattoo that I did for Violet, yeah. kind of thing to like let you know. No matter what you do, I'm always gonna love you because you're my kid, kind of thing. So as long as this one and nothing happens to this one, like these two, I'm good. You can literally rub the skin off my legs and let oh it yeah. grow back fresh. I don't care. Hilarious. So if they, whip me, tattoo, if they whip me on my back, bro, they're gonna be literally killing my fish, which is like okay, cool. So maybe not whipping me on the back like oh a slave yeah. also, but this, they'd be able to do a lot before I actually start squealing. But as soon as I take my right hand, like. That happens. Mm. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Listen, last time I checked, he's he's gonna be whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. and I, yeah, he likes to eat here. Yeah, so if you just wait there for like a couple of hours, you he will pull, pull up. up. up yeah. <laughs> You'll be there. Yeah, <laughs> you know? okay, just just leave this one alone. Like you can do anything. To but this you know one. what? Then I just picture a cousin coming in. Like, why did you say? <laughs> why did you speak, baby? <laughs> That's hilarious. Just, uh, oh my my gosh, you know I love you, homie. Me and Dula's also like that. Uh, if he must come in there and like one of my fingernails is missing already, I'm just. Go on with him, I'm gonna swim. Yo pee me, bro. Why do you do bow like this? I don't even know what he done in the morning, but I'm like, don't yeah. yo. Yo, you know what I mean? with the KGB, bro. Don't Check. do that. Serious bow. Do not do that. But yeah, nah, but I feel like yeah. Anyways, guys, we have a lot to, oh, yeah, to comment and discuss. To go do, and no. we okay, for those of you this is actually it's gonna be dated afterwards, uh, but we actually literally gonna leave you right now and go to the tournament of might. You saw oh, the yeah. promo, you saw the video, you know what's happening. Hopefully, just, we'll be seeing a lot of you there. We I hope all, so. I hope so. Yeah, we're actually literally going to be carrying all our luggage and we're going to be posted up at the event. So, mm-hmm. yeah, hopefully, we'll have a lot of interview videos, a lot of gameplay videos, just a general, a lot of videos that we can compile into a yeah. nice little segment for you guys 100%. to check out. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, in, for the sake of the podcast, I'm entering the tournament. I know I'm going to get destroyed. I tried do to you play, not play the game? I do. I tried mm-hmm. to play like a young couple of matches mm-hmm. just to get me warmed up mm-hmm. this morning. I, was, I mean, playing against the computers, like against the computers, easy. But yeah. like playing against somebody that can see how you fight, and they're like, okay, nah, mm. I see he likes that move. Nah, that changes everything. It's serious, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. it gets serious very quickly. I, but we'll, yeah. we'll talk off air. I'll ask about the game and stuff. But yeah. anyway, um, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, guys, subscribe, like, comment, share. We appreciate everybody that actually tuned in from you know day one. If you're yep. new as well, that's also very much appreciated. Um, and comment like we we actually want you guys to like weigh in on what we're talking about. 100%. So if you have a uh, even if you have a conflicting opinion or even if you agree with what we're saying, we would love to just hear like what you guys think because we're gonna bring up a whole lot of stuff and talk about a lot of things that happen, especially in the year 2024. Because we're hoping that big things happen for more than just us, for everyone around us. And we're 100%. looking to forward to bringing like a lot of guests on. Yeah. Um, so look forward to that, and I'm sure some of you who are watching are probably gonna be guests as well. Mm-hmm. For various reasons. But and it's not people that are like, quote unquote, famous in the city or whatever. It might just be some normal person that's yeah. really interesting. That's all, you yeah. know, that it takes really. You mean just but like um, what you do. Like, you really might just be like, it could be anyone for any reason. It yeah. doesn't have to be like the mayor. Someone, <laughs> yeah, Although if we could get the mayor, that'd be dope. Yeah, that would be fire. It would that'd get very dope. serious in here, but. It would get very serious in here. Yeah, like we'd have the spotlight on him. 100%. And we all like, you can just kind of like see our faces like, Slightly in the yeah, like those eighties eighties uh, interviews. Even shine the light on him, like yeah, yeah, shine the light on in his face. Cop. But yeah, anyways, guys, it's been real. We are off to the tournament of might, and we'll catch you All on right. the flip side. Peace. Peace.